Hello, welcome back to our channel. Another project. Um, Mud Bar Mark 2. Um, Lou's claiming this one, aren't you, Lou? Mm. Right, Lou's claiming this one. Uh, Westwood T1300. Um, this will be the second one we build. We're in the process of building the Murray at the moment. Um, but we just so if we had this back long, we had a chance to have a look around it. Well, no, well we have had a quick look and we've discovered a few little problems that we're going to sort out now. When we picked it up, it had a battery on it that was fully charged. Um, but obviously, I think the time to start it where I picked it up from, I'll tell you a bit more about that when I do the uh, workshop update next. <coughs> but when I get it started, and there was no power going through, and it was really weird with a solenoid. Even if you crossed them, it, the power difference of loss was unbelievable. So I thought that oh, was a solenoid, and then I realised that the power wire, what normally comes from your solenoid, um, is an earth. <laughs> it's actually an earth, so it's earth. So it was earthing out. Somebody's had all the wiring loom out of it, I should have said that first, really. But they've had all the wiring loom, and this is what we're sort of left with. Um, you know, you know when they people who don't know what they're talking about. When you look at this, you can't see it. They take these wires up, and obviously these wires are dead from the seat because they don't do nothing. They didn't take them up, so you know that you're uh, messing around with people who don't know about electrics. <laughs> so anyway, I said to Louis, we'll. Um, we just bypass all that and we just jump it off the starter motor and we had no spark or nothing and um, what they've done is the earth from the, the from the coil that kills the engine which you go to ignition switch that was actually earthed onto the engine so we sussed that out now we've fired it up had it running for a couple of minutes Drove it up and down a little bit, clutch all works and that. Um, no brakes though. <laughs> what? what but that. I discovered that as I was about to go through the workshop door, so. <laughs> <laughs> that works a laugh anyway, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so we're going to see if we can fire it up now. We're only going to like basically sort of hot wire it off, off the of the battery, jump it. And all I've done for that is I've added a wire. I haven't done it up. A wire like here, so what will go to the positive on the battery, and I'm going to bring an earth up from here to the earth on the battery, and hopefully we've got enough petrol in it for it to fire up again. It might, it might not. I've got a lot of battery left though on the camera. <laughs> That red lead was no good, was it, Lou? No. Should have sorted this out before I started filming again, shouldn't I? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> you waste a bit of time like they always do, and watching some of stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's on there. That's on there. Right, we've got full choke. Mm -hmm. Key's not doing nothing, so we don't need to worry about that. Right, no, because as soon as that starts, you need to knock it off a choke, yeah? Okay. Uh, keep the on. Look at night, Louie trying to get the back fire through the exhaust. Right, this time. Full choke. Yeah, and bit off throttle when you've got it running, yeah? Okay. And we'll leave the little plane around with the. Because you can't see the flames coming out from this side because the camera's on the wrong side. Come on. You ready? Yeah. Full choke.
what they've done is they've connected this to this. See? That's why we're running. I'm not even it along at the moment. I don't have brakes on it, so it will really. I let it fit. And um, that's half in gear, mate. That's catch in reverse, that is. You know, I jumped to get in reverse. But I don't know if it's all like that or not. But I think it's been parked up a long time. I mean, the basic deal on it is, I did a service on another West one, on the S1300 uh, and um, she wanted, the woman wanted to sell this and I did a straight deal for the service so it owes me a bit of time and a tiny amount of cash a tiny amount A do you Lou? <laughs> a bit of a old clutch is a bit sticky. Try it and reverse it, so if you've got a clutch, so it's just got a bit of pressure on it, it goes in nice. Let's go forward and back in though, right, with the clutch. That'll do you, mate. Is it neutral? Yeah, lovely, lovely. What do you reckon? Happy with this one? We've just got to carry on building the Murray first, though. Out. We just like so I say, it runs. That's what we we want it to do. It don't owe us nothing really. Um, except for Louis just mentioned where he's going to put his nitrous can. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, yeah. So my bar number two, and uh, let's hope we get some more in. Like I say, if I get up some more, I will. So uh, yeah, there's not a lot. The only thing I don't like about it. It's the clutch is on this side. Um, it's alright for Louis because he don't know any different, but um, I want a throttle on this side <laughs> and a clutch on that side so that I can drive it. <laughs> you put your Murray. Oh, the Murray's mine now, is it? Yeah. Right. Well, you best get on with this then. I'll do the Murray. Since you left me Murray in bits. No, it's all good. We're, we're quite happy that it starts because we did wonder. <laughs> you know. There's more than enough power in that 12 and a half. You know. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. Especially with the nitrous. Can. Especially with the nitrous. Right, well, I'll leave it with the nitrous then. And, uh, like I said, it's only a quick video, quick update. And, uh, we shall see you next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.